So today guys, we're going to learn about thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is a common subject to all engineering courses, especially in the mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and chemical engineering. So when you say thermodynamics guys, this is basically the science of energy. So thermo means heat and dynamics means motion. So you have the heat to mechanical energy and to electrical energy. So the concept of energy conversion is based on the concept of thermodynamics. So in this first video guys, we're going to deal with the properties of substance. So here, kita natin this is density. This is your mass per unit of volume. So pag sinabi natin density, so density is given by your like letter rho. So density equals, you have here mass all over your volume. Okay, mass is in kilograms. If it is in uh, system international or pounds, if it is in English units, volume is in a cubic unit. So it's either cubic meters, cubic foot, or other units. So here we have here the specific volume. So pag sinabi natin guys na specific volume, this is the volume per unit of mass. So specific volume is given by this small letter. So small letter V here. So this is equal to your volume per unit of mass okay you can express this in terms of density this is equal to one all over you have your m over v so this is the same thing so you can use this concept to derive this in terms of density so this is equal to one all over density so specific volume is your volume over mass or one over density now here, the next concept is what we call the specific weight. So specific weight is the weight of the substance per unit of volume. So specific weight, you have this symbol equals, this is weight per unit of volume. So weight, of course, this is mg. Okay, mass of the substance times your acceleration due to gravity all over v. Okay, but m over v here is just equal to your density, as we recall here. This just equal to density times G. So this is your specific weight, the weight per unit of volume. Then here, another concept that should be familiarized in terms of the study of thermodynamics is your specific gravity. So the specific gravity or the relative density of the substance is the ratio of the density of the substance with respect to a standard fluid, which is commonly water. So water ang ating reference na fluid. So the specific gravity of a substance Sg of the substance is equal to your density of the substance all over the density of a standard substance or most commonly used in thermodynamics is water. So this is H2O. Okay. So we derive this in terms of specific weight if you multiply density times g. We have here density of the substance all over the density of water times g. So g will cancel out simplifying density over density of water. So density g is your specific weight. So this can also be expressed in terms of your specific weight. So specific weight of the substance all over the specific weight of water. So it's the same thing. That's your specific gravity or the relative density. Now we have here sample problems, guys. These are past board exam problems taken from various reviewers. So iniba ko lang yung mga given natin. But the approach is the same thing. So here, first problem natin, guys. An iron block weighs 5 newtons and has a volume of 200 cubic centimeters. So what is most nearly the density of the block in kilograms per cubic meter? So the first step in solving any problem, guys, is to identify what is required, okay? Required here is the density of the block. So we have here, write the density concept. So density equals mass all over your volume. So here, ang given natin, volume, which is 200 cubic centimeters, okay? Now, we are already have the volume, but we don't have the mass. But the mass can be found using your concept of weight. So weight equals mg all over your gravitational constant. Okay. So therefore, using this concept weight, so m equals your weight times gravitational constant all over your 
acceleration due to gravity. So here, yung gravitational constant natin, this is a very important concept, especially when it comes to your English units. So when you are dealing with SI, it doesn't really matter if you put this gravitational constant, but if you are dealing with your English unit, this is a very important concept. So weight here is equal to 5 newtons. Then when you're dealing with SI, your gravitational constant is, you have here 1 kilogram, that is mass, meter per second squared per, you have here 1 newton. So that is your gravitational constant. So this is all over. G, standard tayo guys, this is 9.81 meters per second squared. So the units are now consistent. So we have this, cancel natin yung mga units natin here. Newton will cancel out. Meter per second squared will cancel out also, leaving you have your kilogram mass. So the mass is equal to, you have here, 5 divided by 9.81. That is in kilogram mass. So this is 0 0.5096. 84. Okay, this is uh, kilogram mass. You already have this mass. We can compute for its density. So density is equal to mass over volume. So mass natin 0 0.509684 kilograms all over volume. So the volume is 200 cubic centimeters. We have this 200 cubic centimeter. So the required unit is kilograms per cubic meter. So we need to convert this cubic centimeter to cubic meter. So we have this conversion. Here we have one meter that is 100 centimeters. Okay, so this is in cube. So we need to raise this to three also. Okay, so density equals. So the density, this is equal to, we have here 2548.42 our unit here cancel na yung cubic centimeter so this becomes kilograms per cubic meter so this is our final answer for this specific problem so in this next problem guys we have if the density of a gas is 0.003 slugs per cubic feet what is most nearly the specific weight of the gas in newtons per cubic meter so here we have another unit of mass here. So this is density. So basically this is mass per unit of volume. So this slugs here is a unit of mass. Okay. So by conversion, one slug. Okay. This is equal to, we have here 32.2 pound mass. Okay. So yung ating subscript here means that itong pounds natin is a unit of mass. Okay. Now here, the required parameter is specific weight so you write the concept of specific weight this is we have here your density times g okay now here given that is density g of course we will use the constant we have here 9.81 meters per second squared okay so the density should be in kilograms per cubic meter in order for us to actually convert it to a unit of newtons per cubic meter okay so the density we have here 0 0.003 we have here slugs per cubic feet so slugs converted to pound mass and pound mass to kilogram so this is unit conversion again so we have here one slug so this is 32.2 pound mass, okay? Then, you have here slug will cancel here, okay? It will cancel out here. Then pound mass should be converted also to kilogram mass, okay? So you have here one kilogram mass. This is 2.2046 pound mass. So this is your conversion here. So this is another conversion that is 1 kilogram mass is equal to 2.2046 pound mass. Okay. Then pound mass here will cancel out but we have here a cubic feet. So we need to 
convert this again into cubic meters. So another concept that is, you have here one meter that is 3.28 feet. So we have here 3.28 feet, okay, that is per one meter. So this is in cubic, okay, you need to also raise this to three. So you can watch my video for unit conversion if you are not yet familiar on these types of units, okay. So the density we have here, so all of these units will cancel out except for you have your kilograms and cubic meter. So the unit of this is in kilogram mass per cubic of meter. So this will cancel out here. And also we have here cubic foot will also cancel out. So solving the density is equal to, so this is 1.546 kilogram mass per cubic meters. Okay, so we have this uh, value we can now solve for its specific weight. Specific weight is equal to density times G. So density is 1.546 kilogram mass per cubic meter. So we have this times G. So this is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay. Then the gravitational constant is also applicable here to convert this kilogram meter per second squared to newton. So one newton is you have here one kilogram mass meter per second squared okay so this will cancel out this is a unit conversion cancel na yung kilogram mass meter per second squared here then you have the unit newtons per cubic meter so specific weight you have here 15.17 so approximately 17 as you guys 15.17 newtons per cubic meter so this is your final answer for this problem so for this next problem we have the specific gravity of mercury relative to water is 13.55 what is most nearly the specific weight of mercury in pound force per cubic foot so this is in english units so the specific gravity is given by so you have this sg of the substance okay this is equal to the density of the substance all over the density of water okay or it should be it can be specific weight of the substance all over the specific weight of water okay now here you can say that the specific weight of the substance which is mercury so the sg okay of mercury that is the substance is equal to the specific weight of mercury all over the specific weight of water then we have here the specific weight of mercury is equal to so you just multiply this the sg of mercury times the specific weight of water we're in here we are given the specific gravity of mercury which is 13.55 here the specific weight of water is standard okay so the specific weight of water is given by you have here density g okay density of water times gravity but the density of water by standard okay standard conditions we have here this is 1000 kilograms okay per cubic meter so therefore you have here the specific weight of water okay this is equal to 1000 you have your kilograms per cubic meter this is the density times your g so this is 9.81 meters per second squared okay so automatically this is kilogram meter per second squared this is in newtons okay newtons per cubic meter so this is just equal to we have here 9810 okay newtons per cubic meter so this is again in si so you need to convert this to english units because the required unit here is pound force per cubic feet okay so we have here specific weight of mercury is equal to you have here sg of mercury that is 13.55 okay 
based from this concept here, times the specific weight of water, which is 9810, you have your newtons per cubic meter. So this is 132925, you have your 0.5, this is in newtons per cubic meters, okay? Now here, convert natin siya guys into pound force per cubic feet. So newton, gawin natin pound force. And yung ating cubic meters, gawin natin cubic feet. So specific weight of mercury equals, we have here, so 132.925.5 newtons per cubic meter. So you need the conversion. So ang conversion natin guys is... We have this one pound force, okay? This is 4.449 newtons, okay? This is a conversion. Convert natin to cubic feet by this conversion again. Recalling, you have here one meter, that is 3.28 feet. And this is in cubic meters, so you need to raise this to three, okay? So where did this come from? Yung one pound force is equal to 4.449 newtons from the concept that you have here one pound force, okay? This is 32.2 pound mass feet per second squared. So this is an important concept. This is your gravitational constant, okay? This is very important. So again, you can convert this. You have here one newton, okay? For newtons, you have here one kilogram mass meters per second squared that's why it doesn't matter if you put gravitational constant for si or not because it doesn't actually affect your value but it is a different scenario when you are dealing with your english unit it will greatly affect your value because it has this one pound force equals 32.2 pound mass feet per second squared okay this concept here is derived using this gravitational constant. Units will cancel out except for pound force and for cubic feet. So this newton will cancel here. Cubic meters will also cancel here. Okay, leaving we have here pound force per cubic feet. So mind you guys, this is in cube then. So nakat cube then yung 3.28 natin. So that's a common mistake. For some students, they disregard all those exponents and arriving at their wrong answer. So this exponents here, every element in the equation is very important. So specific weight of mercury, so you just compute this. So this is 846. So 846, guys, 0.69. Okay, 846.69. This is pound force per cubic feet. So this is the specific weight of mercury, okay? So you can also use an alternate solution for this kind of problem, guys, if you know the standard specific weight of water in English units. So for water we have here, this is equal to 62.4, you have here pound force per cubic feet. So this is the standard specific weight of water at standard conditions, okay? Now, Using the concept, you have your specific weights of mercury. Okay, that is equal to, you have here 13.55. This is the specific gravity of mercury, Sg nya, times specific weight of water. That is 62.4 pound force per cubic feet. So leaving you the same answer, you have here 846 then. So approximately, this is also 846. Okay, pound force per cubic foot. So the answer will actually depend on your rounding off of significant figures and the use of your conversion factors here or conversions natin. So approximately you have here 846 pound force per cubic feet. So this is the specific weight of mercury. You can either use the two. Okay, you can... Use the fundamental concept that the density of water standard condition, we have here 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Or you can also memorize this. So board exam, guys, you need to memorize those standard constants, concepts, specific weight of water, density of water, acceleration due to gravity, and etc. So you you need you, you actually need to familiarize all those constants, yung mga fundamental constants natin.
Okay, let's proceed to our next problem.